Self-made men are the men who, under peculiar difficulties and without the ordinary helps of favoring circumstances, have attained knowledge, usefulness, power, and position, and have learned from themselves the best uses to which life can be put in this world and in the exercise of their uses to build up worthy character. The various conditions of men and the different ways they make of their powers and opportunities in life are full of puzzling contrasts and contradictions. I do not think much of the accident or good luck theory of self-made men. Fortune may crowd a man's life with favorable circumstances and happy opportunities, but they will, as all know, avail him nothing unless he makes a wise and vigorous use of them. In such matters, a wise man has little use for altar or oracle. He knows that the laws of God are perfect and unchangeable. He knows that health comes from right living, that disease is cured by the right use of remedies, that bread is produced by tilling the soil, that knowledge is obtained by study, that wealth is secured by saving, and that battles are won by fighting. To him, the lazy man is the unlucky man, and the man of luck is the man of work. When we find a man who has ascended heights beyond ourselves, who has a broader vision than we, and a sky with more stars than we have in ours, we may know that he has worked harder, better, and more wisely than we. He was awake while we slept, he was busy while we were idle, and he was wisely improving his time and talents while we were wasting ours. He who does not think himself worth saving from poverty and ignorance by his own efforts, will hardly be thought worth the effort of anybody else. The lesson taught at this point by human experience is simply this, that the man who will get up will be helped up, and the man who will not get up will be allowed to stay down.